Welcome back to my YouTube channel, Hambolali Adedulu. If you are here to subscribe to my channel, please subscribe, like, and also comment. In today's tutorial, I want to teach you how to cut princess dart. You know we have different type of uh, dart. We have straight dart, we have princess dart, and we have bustier dart. But in this tutorial, I want to teach you how to cut straight princess dart. You can find that mostly on English dresses. Let's go there. When you are cutting your princess dart or any dart, I've already dropped tutorial on how you can cut your straight down or how you can achieve that. But in this tutorial, uh, we want to focus on princess dart. Before you draft your princess dart out, you must have shaped out your neck and arm hole. So this is the uh, half length of the of this tutorial that I'm working on. Then you start from this down part. This is like half length. You can do the same on uh, a dress, but this is half length. The first thing is to come to this closer part. That's the front part. Then you measure four inches. That's the normal measurement. But if the person you are sewing for uh, is maybe the person is using XL, bigger size, you will use four and a half. But the normal size is four inches. Then you do four inches. You measure four inches. Four inches. Then you now come to this ham hole. You first measure your ham hole. All together what you are having. In this tutorial, I'm having ten and a half inches. So you divide this ten and a half inches. You have five and quarter. So you now measure your five and quarter. That's the half of your ham hole to get the center. Then you measure four inches there. Then you now connect it together. You connect it together like this. And you cut it out. In most cases, it's not advisable to cut it, uh, to cut it out through. You will leave some inches. So that it will not get mixed up when it gets to your sewing machine. Then this is the princess that. Then when you want to join it, you join it like this. And you cut it out. You have something like this. You have something like this. Okay guys, if you find this tutorial helpful, don't forget to subscribe, like and also comment. See you in my next tutorial. Bye.